If you're not able to get a hold of some solid lifters, you'll have to get some lightweight checking springs from a performance or hot rod supplier to use with your regular hydraulic lifters. When rotating an engine by hand with no oil pressure, a hydraulic lifter is overcome by the valve spring pressure and the movable plunger that's inside the lifter will sink down as the cam begins to push up on it. This would keep the valve from opening all the way for a proper piston to valve clearance check. Your hydraulic lifters can be used for this test, but only if the valve springs being used are lightweight springs that won't cause the lifter plunger to push down inside the lifter body. If your heads are already assembled, you're going to need to take out the stock springs for the number one cylinder. If they're not assembled yet, pull the correct intake and exhaust valves out of the organizer tray for the number one cylinder head and make sure that the stems have some lubricant. Place a spring in one of the heads and use the retainer to push the spring down far enough so you'll be able to slip in the keepers that'll hold the retainer in place. When both of the valves are in for the number one cylinder, the head is ready for the test. Have the right pair of hydraulic lifters for that cylinder nearby.